For 95 years, the Greater Joliet Area YMCA has been a mainstay in our community, providing much needed programs and services for children, families, and adults living in Will and Grundy counties. These past 18 months have been like no other in our organization's history. But the wise commitment has remained the same, to always be here for our community when people need us most. We know that we have faced so many challenges over the course of the last 18 months as a community. And as we look back on that, at the why we try and look for the unforeseen or unexpected opportunities that arose. In the fall of 2020, the YMCA used innovation and creativity to transition its traditional before and after school Kids Zone program to Kids Zone Plus. So we had the unexpected opportunity to transform our gymnasiums and classrooms into full day remote learning sites. We had the opportunity to provide care for children from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. each and every day. We had the opportunity to make sure that they not only came to us and got the learning support that they needed, but they also left with a full belly, providing more than 150,000 meals and 60,000 snacks to children in our community. At the Y, we know the importance of community. And over this past year, we relied on our friends and neighbors who graciously opened their doors and welcomed the YMCA and all the students we had the opportunity to serve into their spaces. And we were blessed at the Y to have the most incredible partners step in alongside of us to make sure that we could continue to meet the most pressing and urgent community needs. Because of these amazing partnerships, the Y was able to make a difference in the lives of people living in our community. People like Yvette Nunez and her four children, Sebastian, Amina, Damian, and Giovanni. Um, I'm a single mother, first of all, four children, ages 10, 9, 7, and 6. The YMCA's Kids Zone Plus program provided Yvette's children and so many other kids in our community with the support they needed to learn and stay connected with their friends and classmates in the most challenging of times. And they made new friends there. They were different ages. Um, again, they were still socializing. They were getting up, going with their backpacks. They were motivated. They were happy to be there. Um, and they were happy to come home and share with me, you know, what, what they were able to do with their remote learning and how their counselor um, assisted them. It was always something positive. It was a very positive impact on them and their life, even though what we were going through in our environment was very negative. And for parents like Yvette Nunez, the YMCA provided peace of mind, knowing that her children were in safe, nurturing spaces each day. I think the YMCA was even extra precautious. As soon as the kids would get to the door, they were not allowed into the building without checking their temperatures, without making sure that their face masks were up and covering their noses. You know, these are all things that the kids share with you uh, and that, you're, that you know as a parent that you're making the right decision, that your kids are good and that they're safe. As the school year came to an end, the YMCA prepared to welcome more than 2,000 kids to its 14 summer camp locations throughout Will and Grundy counties. One of the biggest blessings that we've experienced as an organization this year was the community's trust in coming back out to gather through the Y. This summer we served more children than we've ever served before in summer day camp. At YMCA camp, kids have the opportunity to explore nature, find new talents, try new activities, and make lasting friendships and memories. But as students in our community were emerging from remote learning, summer day camp at the Y proved to be so much more. In Plainfield, District 202, the school district came to the Y and said, could you provide care to more than 200 families this summer to meet the social emotional learning loss that so many children experience from having to stay home by themselves? And we were able to say yes. Valley View School District 365 stepped forward and asked to provide, asked the Y to provide care for 1,000 children per week for eight weeks this summer. And they wanted to provide remote learning support um, for those students who lost math and reading skills. And we were able to say yes. The Y has served our community continuously for more than 95 years this year. And in order to do that, we rely on the charitable support from individuals, families, grantors, and the community to ensure that we don't have to turn anyone away due to the inability to pay. The community is better because of the Y. I've uh, been very impressed uh, with the staff, and not just now, but over the years and that, uh, and the board. And like, I just thought they were good stewards, uh, the money I gave, and uh, that it 
help the, the people I wanted to help. So. The outpouring of support for the YMCA's Mission Strong Fund by the business community, individual donors, and YMCA members has been truly inspiring, but there is more work to be done. One of the most beautiful things about the Y is that we have this unique ability to convene partners and to share a need and to have others step in around us and alongside us to make sure that we can bring critical services to life. You see people uh, love, care for, having fun, and I know too many kids that just aren't even loved. So this organization helps in so many ways. I would say it's like my second family. It's been that to my kids. Um, it, it's been that for me after my divorce. It's, uh, it's been my right hand and my left hand when I'm stuck in the middle. Um, and it's always my go-to looking for a program or something to get them involved in. As our community continues to recover from the effects of COVID-19, the YMCA needs your support more than ever to ensure that we will be able to step in to meet our community's most pressing needs and provide residents of all ages with an opportunity to regain a sense of community and connectedness. Please consider making a charitable gift to the YMCA's Mission Strong Fund today.